ABC News contributor and retired NASA astronaut Katie Coleman joins me now for more. Katie, less than 300 people have ever conducted a spacewalk, and you were nearly one of them. What is it like? Well, I have to say, actually, I have trained for spacewalks, and I am very proud to have qualified in spacewalking so that I could go on a space station mission. But one of the reasons that was so hard to do was that there were not spacesuits to fit me, and that is part of what today was all about. Now, these commercial astronauts were conducting a series of suit mobility tests, kind of to that point. Um, the entire capsule at one point was exposed to the vacuum of space. Uh, how risky is a mission like this, and what do you think SpaceX is hoping to learn from it? I think that they've done a bunch of work to get to get through some of the basics of how do we design new suits thinking about how can we make more of them? I mean, this is a problem that we've, that we meaning NASA, I'm retired from there now, but, you know, have struggled with and now, you know, in the making of the new suits for the moon program, they're working at making them more mobile, more about people. Uh, but there's, I mean, there's a lot to learn. And one of the things that they're doing on this mission is they're looking at an approach of how can we build the mobility into that suit using the way the fabric itself is sewn to each other. And because a spacesuit, I mean, a spacesuit for space walking, that is your own private spaceship in the, in the shape of a human. And so it's very important for your life support. And what's cool about this demonstration is that you can't, I mean, to demonstrate everything at once, once you're that sure that everything's going to work, it's too late to go back and change the design. And in this case, they're, they're looking at, okay, how was the mobility? Could we move? And also, can the systems take it, which they've done a lot of research into, if we depressurize the space capsule so that we can do this work? So they learned a lot. It's not sort of sexy in a way, but there were really basic things that they have figured out more data on that are important. So what's your reaction to this now being done by non-professional astronauts? And what do you think it means for the future of commercial space flight and space tourism? Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I feel privileged to have been to space and spent almost six months up on the space station. And this, I mean, it belongs to all of us. And that view of the Earth and what it means to you, you heard Jared when he, when he you know, climbed out the door there that, you know, the Earth looks perfect from here, but we know we have a lot of work to do. I want more people to see that view and come back here and do the work they know they can do. And to do that, we need all aspects of spaceflight to be a little more, like, mechanized. And commercial companies often can take big leaps with hardware that the federal government has a harder time doing. And by doing that, they actually leapfrog all of us ahead. All right, retired NASA astronaut Katie Coleman. Katie, thank you. Well, thank you. It's cool to see. It is. That's for sure.